How low HP touchpad users, great news. Today I'm gonna to show you how to change your system data and cache partition to any size you want. Please refer to this great guide over here at Roots Wiki by contributing member Gradualer. Recently, we've had Android 4.3 ROM showing up for the HP touchpad. This is great, but the one downside is that we're running out of space on our system partition for these newer versions of Android. The ROMs and the GFs package are gradually increasing in size, and so we're running out of space on our 400 meg system partition that was given to us by the Acme Installer 3. Well, we got good news. We can make it any size we want. We just need to follow this quick guide. Now first off, we're going to need to boot into WebOS. I'm in WebOS right now. Right here in the Just Type menu, we're going to need to enable Developer Mode. Now there's two ways to do this. We can type the old school Contra code of up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start, or we can type WebOS 20090606. Either of these will take us to Developer Mode. we'll need to have developer mode toggled on in order to do the next step. So here's the toggle in the upper right hand corner. You simply swipe it to on, it'll take a moment to turn on and then you'll be ready to go to the next step. We're gonna transfer over to our computer and then come back again. Now that developer mode is enabled on our tablet, we're ready to install Preware. But before we can do this, we'll need to have Java and the Novacom software installed on our computer. If we've recently installed CyanogenMod, we should already have both of these and can go right to installing the WebOS Quick Installer. If not, download them both from the link below. First install Java. There's the big red button here to download and install it. It's very straightforward. Then download and install the Universal Novacom software. Go to Downloads and download it here. Once both of these are installed and ready to go, we'll download the WebOS Quick Installer. It's a link from WebOS Nation. Download it, and we're going to transfer it to our desktop. Before we can run this, we need to plug our tablet in with the USB cable. If we try to run this before, it won't work. We only need to plug the tablet in. We don't need to enable USB drive mode. Simply plug it in, and then run the software. We need to click on this little orb here, it's a little globe. Here is a whole menu of things we can search. We're going to get the preware and search. Simply install it here by clicking the button and wait while it transfers and installs it on the device. There we go, we're all done. We can now disconnect our USB cable and navigate to it on our tablet. Now we got our preware installed, it's time to install Taylor. You can find the preware in your download section here. Simply open up the preware app and we're gonna navigate and look for Taylor. You can click the little search window up in the upper right hand corner and type in Taylor. Hit enter and it should find it right away. You'll install it by clicking a button down here. I've already got it installed, so it gives me the option to launch it. Let's start it up. Here we are in Taylor. You can see the various different partition sizes here. You can see I've also already changed my Android partition to 500 megabytes. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna future-proof my device and up it to 600 megabytes. To get started, we're gonna need to unmount this partition here. Once this is done, we'll need to check the file system, and then we're going to be asked to enter a number. This is going to be a number where we're going to need to subtract the amount of space for our Android partition from our USB media partition. Let's check it out. Now, checking the files can take a few minutes, so be patient. Now, here we are. Now, we need to deduct, subtract, the amount of space that we're going to need for our Android partition from this media partition. So we're gonna change 25944 to 25844 to give us 100 megs of free space to play with. Simply enter it in here 
and hit resize partition. This can take a few minutes, so be patient. Now that that task is completed, you'll see that we have more space in our unused space here. Next, click on the Android system partition and check the file system. We can now increase the size of the partition. We have 100 free megs to play with, so let's increase it to 600. Resize partition. Here we are with the completed operation. My Android system partition is now 600 megabytes. I'm ready to do a fresh, clean install of any version of Android I like. Please check the video's description for the links to the forums. You can get all the info, helpful videos, information, fixes, tweaks, all that great stuff. Check it out. Please subscribe to see the latest updates with the HP Touchpad and like the video so more people will see it. Thanks for watching, everybody.